In this valley, striking it rich is a daily possibility. A gambling town where a little guts can lead to gold. And on the football field, Nikolai Lorette is all in. I just go out there and have fun. Nikolai started the season watching from the sidelines as the Pioneers team manager. Until one day, he needed more. Four games into the season, he says, Coach, uh, I, I want to play football. I said, oh, okay. Nikolai is a double amputee who's lived most of his life without legs. Born in Russia, he spent the first two years of his life in an orphanage. But just short of his third birthday, a Colorado family in mourning changed his life forever. Our daughter was um, 11 years old and she passed away from lymphoma. Just months after losing her oldest daughter, Melissa, Katie Loret saw the sign she had been looking for. She had been a story writer and musician and singer, and she was just a really talented child. So came across a story that she had written about us adopting a little boy from overseas. So when we got the memorial money, it's like, well, you've got to go get somebody. <laughs> that somebody was Nikolai who was thrilled to move to Colorado with his new American family. Eleven years later, he's really living life to the fullest, doing what he's always wanted to do. Nick, why you get Mo? Set, go! It's my favorite sport, and just thought it was fun to play. Even though go. Mom is still oh, lukewarm on the idea. Well, I told him that God doesn't even make knees that withstand football. I don't know why he thinks this one will. But, <laughs> but through sheer determination, Nikolai does his best to be one of the guys. Way more than I thought he could. Hey, you're up, Nikolai. You're out there. He'll be the first one to jump in the drill. A lot of them are, are not easy. And, uh, but he sticks with it and tries as hard as he can. He surprised me yesterday. This kid was coming out for, he was running the ball, and... Nikolai just squared up his shoulders on him and just laid him straight out, and it was pretty shocking to see that he hit that kid with, you know, everything that he's got. This month, his practice and perseverance finally paid off. Nikolai took the field under the Friday night light. His first game playing, the crowd just was so loud when he walked onto that field, and we were all really proud to see that. After being checked by the ref to ensure his legs are properly padded, on, Nikolai lines up on kickoff return. I'm not as fast as other people, but for the most part, I can keep up. Nikolai's only regret he got a late start on his sophomore season. But next year, as a junior, he has big plans. Probably be like on the line, a linebacker, I don't know, hit someone. Nikolai has had plenty of help in this journey. Coaches, teammates, mom, and a big sister who he's never met, but is likely his biggest fan. She would be thrilled. She would be thrilled. With legs of steel and a heart of gold, Nikolai Lorette is proving that even in a gambling tent, a true jackpot is measured not in money, but in willpower. You don't need to be told what you can and can't do. If you want to do it, just try and do it.